Can go for run of one of his runs this time. Kick not getting a great deal of distance. Richardson had front position, didn't come down with the ball. Nichols does. And he's had a great season. Oh. Justin Pickering. Oh, stabs the ball at goal. And that is score. I dare say the heart went patter, patter, patter there before they got the score on the board. Richmond's third. Great kicking and a great start. There's two goals for David Honeybun. He made heavy work of it in the end. There's a little push out there by Justin Pickering. The umpire let it go. There's Honeybun. It was like a bar of greasy soap there. Not quite sure what he was going to do with it. He could have probably handballed to a teammate in the end. Couldn't score with this kick. Capper well out of position. Lambert. Good hand pass and the Tigers running the ball well out of defence. Ball kicked away by Justin Pickering up towards midfield. It's all Richmond. Ryan. The run of Mitchell. Gains possession. Mitchell from left half forward. Now Honeybun again. He's kicked one goal so far. And light rain falling. Well, that's not a real surprise. The viewer has been forecasting it for three days and we finally got a shower. David Honeybun. One goal to his credit so far. Pickering has two and three one. Honeybun will kick from around about 50 metres on some pretty heavy turf, you can see there. Look at these boots. Close but not close enough. Maybe out of bounds on the full. In fact, it is. And so a free kick will go to the Bears in the person of Alex Hashenko. Richmond's well, inside 50 for Richmond. Kick by Free. Oh, Honeybutt almost a great one hander. Is that played? Gee, it should have been. Gale has a shot. And one behind. I thought he had that honey bun. I thought it was a great effort. It was a great effort and. Uh, it must have been pretty close to a mark. It certainly looked as if he held it for quite some time. So O'Keefe has the ball. He'll do the kicking in. Honeybun stands the mark. A great start by the Tigers in the opening tour. So Norm Dare and the Brisbane hierarchy will have a few things to say at quarter time, I'm sure. But it's been a magnificent opening by the Tigers. who really looked the goods after a thumping last Saturday. Terrible kick. Missed mark by Gibson. Lambert got it away to Gale. Justin Pickering inside 50. All the time in the world. Pulls it back towards the kickoff line. Honeybun, almost the one hander off the ground. Nichols, another one. After watching the World Cup. They won't need a penalty shootout here. Roger Miller, 8 3 to a goal. He wouldn't want to turn too quickly there. Centering kick. Or Caton, tied for mark of the year. Didn't come down with it. Lees. Merritt. Not too many going anywhere at the moment. James. Hooks the ball out of the pack, up towards the member stand flank. Justin Pickering falls over the ground, pretty slippery. We haven't had that much rain, but she is rather heavy. Just kicks to centre wing. Off the hands of the players now. How nice it is to Lambert. Almost a mark. In fact, the umpire has paid it. A real scoop by David Honeybun. Superb play here by Richmond. Great running support. And there's Honeybun on the lead. Perfect disposal. Great forward play by Honey Bun. Just about taking a Dennis Lilly run up here too. He's gone back about 35 metres, hasn't he? Well, where's Hall? He used to start at the pickets. Kicks on 50. Oh, gee, it's just going to get there if it does. It doesn't. And... Which uh, Richmond are very good at. 9-7 to 3-1. The Tigers lead. This is free. He's been very busy. Close to the boundary line, pulls it back across his body. Honeybun, strong mark. Put his name on that, didn't he? One grab, a lot of conviction there. So Honeybun, a chance to make amends for that miss a couple of moments ago. Yes, great mark there, Honeybun in front. Kept his eyes on the ball, his head up, and the one grab. Again, it's a long approach. He's back outside the 50, but will kick from about 40, I would imagine. No sign of the man on the mark. He's away to the left there. David Honeybutt. The chance to stretch the lead for Richmond.
Glides away to the right and hits the post about halfway up. So Richmond to 9 8. And the Brisbane Bears lamenting at 3 1. So the margin is 50 points now. Just over four minutes remaining till half time. Merritt, a big leap. Carlson tried to control it, couldn't. This is Cloak, nimbly done. Away to Lambert. Gets the kick off from inside the centre square. Strong mark is taken in front by Honeywell. Well, it's a procession. The Tigers dominating the centre square. And just about everywhere else on the ground. Yes, that's one thing David Honeybun's not scared of doing, putting his body in front. Keeping his eye on the ball. And uh, he's a strong grab when he makes that front position because he was under a lot of pressure there from Matthew Kennedy. Kennedy would have been better advised though to take the arms there. He was reaching for the ball, trying to get the ball clean. Probably a swing across the arms may have been a little bit better for them. Still, that's history. Here's Honeybun. Kicks from about 30 metres out and slides it across the face and through it goes for a behind. Ball adds to the lead. Richmond 11-10. The Bears 4-1. But they trailed by 42 points at the first change. And that's a long way to come back from. Edwards up in ruck for the Brisbane Bears. He started on the bench. Lambert turns on a threepenny bit. Gets around Leslie and shoots at goal. Not a bad sort of a shot. Honeybun. Now what sort of an angle was he going to be on? He's kicked one goal already. I think he might have to go a little bit closer to the boundary line. Nice to crib a bit, Bernie. Well, he tried, but the umpire well aware, well aware of what he was trying to do. He's on a fairly tight angle, but uh, he is favoured that he's only about uh, seven or eight metres out from the goal face. A pretty acute sort of an angle. Let's see what he does. Is he going to run around? No. Banana kick attempted. And looks like it's successful. It's a goal. Honeybun second goal on the Tigers 12th, 12th 11 to 4 1. And David Honeybun has been very good for the Tigers, uh, providing a focal point. He's very strong in the air. Kennedy again a long way away from uh, Honeybun when he was taking that mark as we have a look at that kick, the banana kick. And executed perfectly by David Honeybun. In trouble. Lambert going nowhere. Zanotti now. Thought about Carlson, then kicks through centre wing. Awkward bounce for Merritt, taken by Goodwin. Goodwin long towards half forward. Mitchell, 15 metres in the clear, goes against the grain, cuts back, pulls it across his body. Honeybun, Kennedy works his way in front though, did well. Carlson, great tackle, Honeybun. Ball jarred free, taken by Knights, gets it across to Lambert. Plenty of time, measures the kick and pops it through for another one. First goal, Richmond 13, 13-12 to 5-2. Well, as you called there, Dennis, uh, the good work coming from David Honeybun. Look at that tackle again, a magnificent tackle on Darren Carlson. And that set up the play there, ending up with uh, Craig Lambert, who kicked his first goal. But it's good to see the forwards, the full forward there especially, doing the hard work, the chasing, and desperate to keep the ball into that forward line. Hardy at the back. Roberts missed the mark, Justin Pickering kicked a couple of goals as well the Pickering boys have starved tonight James running well out of defence he travels about 45 metres up high was Leslie couldn't bring down the mark, Why? does it well doubles back on himself, Justin Pickering uh, Michael Pickering, back to Knights Knights from right centre wing kicks into the forward pocket and Honeybun again, strong mark and we've said that a few times tonight Honeybun has capped off his work with two good goals. Now that is a strong mark. Put out in front of his face. And a lot of pressure from Matthew Kennedy. So David Honeybun. The kick for goal as David Cloak comes on. He'll be kicking from inside the 50 metre line. It's marginally anyway. He sliced that one a little bit. Maybe a behind. I think that was rather generous from the goal umpire, from our position anyway. So a behind Richmond, their 13th, 26 effective scoring shots to eight. 
40 points the difference. That's the closest the Bears have been since quarter time when they trailed by 42. Mitchell, beautifully read, out of the centre. This could be the quick reply that they need. Up the honey bun, almost the mark. Couldn't take it. Two Bears pouncing on it. And it's slapped over the boundary line. Richmond's right forward pocket. And honey bun, so desperately close to taking the grab. He has played well. He kicked two goals. And has been a focal point for them up there. He's kept it off with one goal. So a succession of boundary throw-ins. Richardson, a blind kick over the top. Goes only as far as Knight. He gets around Roberts. That's a good kick distance-wise. A big pack of players in the goal square. Honeybun, is he still in play? Yes, he is. Snaps. And brings up only one flag. So close to three-quarter time. We've got three-quarters of a minute left as the Tigers crack the tonne. 100 to 58. A big pack of players there. Bannock will he get clear? The hand pass is on the Knights and Richmond through Mark Lee will get the run. Lee across to Mitchell. Lambert is in the centre square. Justin Pickering alongside the centre circle. Honeybun turns and leads back in the race. Didn't have the pace. Ball came back to him though. In the grasp he gets the kick off and misses to the right hand side. Two goals, five to that money bun. So uh, had he kicked accurately, he would have had a big night. Tortoise in the hair. Two bears came at the ball, some indecision. Hardy and Gastiv. They keep it going their way, though. Good shepherd from Gastiv. Taken by Hardy. Down towards the kickoff line. Could have almost been a free again to Kappa. Still he goes. The hand pass came directly out to Bauer. Lunging, despairing tackle from Merrick. No good. James towards centre wing. There's Justin Pickering. Gives it to Lambert. Lambert who's been a good player tonight, kicking two goals. And Honeybun, a chance to bring up another one, and he's kicked two goals, five, and he got him for a goal. There's two five, uh, Pitt, maybe a little bit fortunate there, because that kick wasn't very good from Lambert off the boot. Wobbled all over the place, and uh, fortunately found David Honeybun. And Lambert comes off for Richmond, and then coming back on is Hamilton. Lee also off for David Cloak, so a double change. They've done that all night, haven't they? Lee the first half of the quarter, Cloak the second. Can he kick his third? No. I don't think he'll add to his tally at all. Didn't make the distance. Towards centre wing, Shenko. Shenko's hand pass charged down by the effect of Justin Pickering. O'Keefe gets it away. Kate was in trouble. Bain, timely sidestep. Cloak got the ball. Look at the acceleration of Trent Nichols. Charges through the centre. Long down towards full forward. Honeybun. Strong mark. Always going to be his. He approached that ball with great confidence and giant strides. Yes, he's been uh, very good on the, at the full forward position, David Honeybun. And we have a look at the mark again. Strong pair of hands in between the two Brisbane Bears players. Hasn't been accurate tonight. A bit worried about his run-up, uh, Dennis. He goes back so far every time. Probably much too far in the end. He's a good, say, 20, 25 metres on occasions. Should come off the short run, Bernie. I'd recommend it, Pete. Honeybun, this time. Well-deserved goal. He's now kicked three goals from 19-18 to 9-8. Tigers all over the Bears now. Well, and even though he was back a few away from the mark on that occasion, he only had a couple of steps before he kicked the ball for goal. As we see that kick from uh, Nichols again, long into the forward line. And Honey Bunny's been magnificent playing at full forward. Of course, Jeff Hogg out of the side, injured at the moment with that knee injury. He's played a key for take the free kick for Brisbane. That's right at the centre circle. He's got options out wide. Caton, oh, he has not had a good night, Kevin Caton. Well, he won't have a good night if he attacks the ball the way he did there. Knights has kicked to half forward. Pickering, that's Michael Pickering, gives it to free. And then Honeybun again. A chance to add to his tummy of three goals five. Surely the runner will come out to Caton and get him off the ground after that. Who have they got left? Walsh is, we led to believe, seriously hurt. Somebody down there. The runner is going out to Caton's marksman. Meantime, back with Honeybun. 
A bad looking effort from there. A little bit of body English on it. It grazes the post. Not his night in terms of kicking goals, but he's had plenty of the ball. 19-19 to 9-8. No free kick. Shoveled out by Lee. Free has got it. Zanotti is in the mood to play. It could be in the back. And Mark Zanotti not very happy. He dealt out some treatment there to uh, Tony Free. <laughs> what? And Brad Edwards coming in to uh, lend a bit of assistance. Oh, well, no need for this now. The Tigers, as Powell did, need only to point to the scoreboard. Free, good mark taken by Hamilton, marking the free kick. Now he plays on from outside 50. Honeybun down there again. Strong mark, Honeybun. Yes, it's played. That's the way to win the arguments. He's a man mountain, David Honeybun. And when he's on his game, he takes a lot of beating. The other thing about the Brisbane Bears tonight, they haven't guarded the mark very well. Hamilton, who took that strong mark, and was able to run around far too easily. They're not keen to get up and uh, claim a man, the Brisbane Bears. They don't want to know about it if uh, their opponent has taken the mark. And that's an area they really have to work on. This man could have kicked ten tonight. As it is, he's coming in to kick his fourth. Point blank range gets it. So the Tigers building percentage now. 20-20 to 10-10. And that's four goals, six to David Honeybun. And it's been an excellent uh, performance by him up on that forward line. Strong grabs, most of them in front of his opponent. As I said earlier, he's not afraid to get that front position, works very hard for it and holds it. So 20-20. Vision from the Tigers. 70 points the difference, three minutes left in the match. Cloak taps down. And Richmond, as I said earlier tonight, have got the ball out of the centre with monotonous regularity. This is Bauer's turn now. Ashcroft chasing, but he won't catch him. Wobbly sort of a kick. Not a good one. Honeybun again, this time waiting behind successfully for his fifth. Twenty-one twenty to ten ten. And that's a real dropping on the scoreboard for the Brisbane Bears. It's rubbing salt in the wounds. And this time Honeybun was caught behind. As Bauer kicks long into the forward line, it tumbles over the top there. The two Brisbane Bears players did the right thing on that occasion. And David Honeybun, caught behind, was uh, favoured by the bounce. Fortune favours the brave. Tiger fans are pretty happy with the result tonight, and why shouldn't they be? Moves the ball down towards centre wing. Cloak. He's been very effective on the oh, ground. Oh, that's oh, bad. That's right. And Ashenko took him high, and Ashenko will be in the book. And that was just the sort of thing that this game didn't need. It's been sparking most of the night. Cloak has a smile. And certainly the laugh is very much on Alex Ashenko. The frustration there, right to the fore. And now it's going to be a free kick to Honeybun down the ground. So he'll get a chance to kick his sixth. He had one till half time, so it's been a very productive second half for him. Alex Ashenko in the book. I think there's a case to answer. <laughs> you could be right, I think. It's been wrong before, Dennis, but I think you might be right this time. <laughs> so here's Honeybun. Third vision, Alex is saying. <laughs> <laughs> His only defence. It's a time-honoured West Australian tradition, blurred vision at tribunals. He misses to the near side, does Honeybun. So it's 21-21 to 10-11.